All right, it is August 13th and I'm really excited because I just picked up a brand new farm um, right behind where I just moved. So I can literally walk out my back door onto the farm. So I've been trying to get a hold of the landowner for a while now and I finally got a hold of him and he owns about 150 acres, but I'll only be hunting about 75 of it because the other part of it is cattle. So. But it's pretty much a big CRP field, but it's surrounded by some crops. So I'm hoping it's gonna be good. It's always exciting to get a new farm and see what kind of genetics are on there and what kind of deer are on there. But what I'm gonna do today is walk the farm, figure out some good spots to hang some stands, maybe feed up some spots, hang some cameras. We got about three weeks left till Kentucky season, so. We'll see what we got. I'm 20 foot up, 
chasing white tails in Kentucky. You, you can't get any better than that. But uh, I'm going after a couple different deer in this in this stand right now. I got two pretty decent tens that I'm going after, and they've been somewhat regular all summer long. So we'll see what happens. It's the first time that I've been able to hunt this stand because I need a north wind, a north northeast wind for this stand, and we have not had that so far this season. So this is the first time that I've been, been able to get in here, and I'm pumped. So we'll see what happens. I saw him, he was, he was in the green field. Right here. And then I seen him walk off over kind of towards this way. Towards the road. Towards the road. Alright, we just got back to the house. And um, after the shot, I waited till dark to back out. And we waited for about two and a half hours and came back and found some decent blood considering how much it was raining. And we decided to back out. I hit him, like I said, a little bit far back and a little low, but the shot was a little worse than I thought. So we decided to back out um, and wait for the morning. So hopefully we'll get him. All right, we have completely lost blood due to the rain last night and we're at a standstill I know he's expired I know he expired overnight so it's just a matter of where he's at and finding him
that's the tough part. But we haven't checked a bean field that's close by and dad wants to go get the drone for that. And we're gonna try to get a higher visual on that field and maybe we can find them that way. Oh yeah. Dallas is a stud. I mean, it was an eight hour old track. My son shot it. Hit the deer right in the shoulder, according to him. And four or five drops of blood, it was three of them. Two of them went that way. The up one went that way, and he just, yeah. man, just kind of slower. 110 yards, he was like, he went straight to me. Well, I did it. Oh, well, you're running. All right, it's September 10th, and we just drug my deer out. Um, it's been a very long, sleepless night. It's about two o'clock, and I shot him about 6.30 last night, and thought I made a pretty good shot, but looking back at the footage, um, we could tell that I hit him a little far back, and it went through the liver and came out the, behind the front shoulder. He was cording away a little bit, but he ended up dying in a bean field. Um, on another landowner and called him up, got permission to go and search the bean field. And we came within about 50 yards of him last night and never even knew he was there. And he, he actually, it looked like he had died pretty quick. So called a bloodhound in today and he found him within about an hour. But um, happy to get him on the ground. Good job, buddy. Good job. Good job. Good.